have to give me half a minute. To give me a minute to get started. I didn't mean to be talking to you right now. Ah. I keep hearing the phrase bloodless coup. Bloodless coup. Every time I hear it, I'm like, you owe me $30,000, motherfucker. That's not my phrase, but you got something out of me. So I'll take 12, 12 grand. A bloodless coup. I've been saying for years, a bloodless entity. When I speak. Of the government. I speak of the bloodless entity. How? You've got this thing that governs us all. And, uh, everybody that's governing us has another governor somewhere. This isn't about anybody that's trying to tell us what to do and saying it from their hearts. There's an order that goes on and and it's so far-fetched that you can't even find the humanity in it. You can't cut it. You can cut its followers. They will bleed and bleed and bleed. But this thing absorbs their blood and just dissipates it. All the life that we are. It's a bloodless entity. It's the government. It's the idea of holding somebody down. See, I am. Um, I extol Nietzsche quite highly. So you may be mistaken to think that uh, I'm saying this is the world of power. That was the big Zarathustra. Look at that, amazing. I, I just reached into a pile. There are all these newspaper articles and such. You know, some of my, my private dealings and things. And I, I get this, a, a volume three of the complete works of Nietzsche. Nietzsche, however you want to hear it. I just took it out and there it is. And then, uh, so I say, you know, the idea of the will to the power, will to power, everybody steals from his words and acts like he's saying that's how things are supposed to be. He was never speaking of how things are supposed to be when he wrote these things. All you gotta do is be able to look somebody in the eye to understand what they're saying. You read the words, you read how they're written, and it doesn't even have to be that much of a problem. 
in the worst of cases, if you can see the way somebody's writing something, you know what they're saying. This is just not about taking over. Somebody took his words and twisted them. You know. No, man. Shall we t turn the keys to the gates of heaven if they twist the words of the Son of Man? This is the opposite of Nietzsche. Nietzsche. This is somebody just looking at all this stuff and tweaking it any way they want. I just opened it up. Probably can't read it because uh, I don't have I don't have my glasses. Oh man, look at I, I'm a lot like you. We'll see what we got here. Oh, the difference among men, among men does not manifest itself only in the difference of their lists of desirable things in the regarding different good things we as worth setting. Well, really the point is uh, as responds of woman, for instance, the control over her body. I, I don't think I need to read too much further for anybody to understand how it could be looked at two ways, that sentence. I just find it offensive in some way. Believe you me. I still haven't figured out how it is they say that. Believe you me, I don't know where that comes from. It doesn't make any English speaking sense to me. Uh, I don't remember what I started talking to you about. Cigarette went out. I think you must have figured it out by now. It's the difference between Nietzsche speaking of how man, humanity is in this world of power as a state of fact, rather than somebody who's using it as a tool and saying, it's the world of power, I have it coming to me. What makes you any better than me? I, uh, Everything's going to be okay. It's just turning the words. Turning of the worm. Tiamat, Cthulhu.